Hey guys, DJ AJ 101 with you here today, and I want to do a quick setup video of the Retina MacBook Pro that I unboxed just this past video. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I wanted to show you at least a few parts that I could of the setup. A lot of this stuff is personal, giving away phone numbers, email addresses, my full name, location, etc. So I won't be showing you all those spectacular parts, even though I'm sure a lot of you would like to stalk me. Um, I'm not going to do that here in this video, but I did want to give you kind of an idea what it's like to set up a MacBook Pro with Retina display, and I'm sure you seen a million of these already as well as a quick screen demonstration of the retina display itself compared to the prior macbooks that have had much less resolution than this one right here so without further ado let's jump right into the setup video so we're going to start by booting up the macbook pro for the first time Again, we get the white screen, kind of like heaven, uh, and we get the Apple logo in the middle of the screen to letting you know that the boot is in sequence. Get the little loading indicator showing up right below the Apple. Again, this is running on an SSD drive, 512 gigabytes of solid state storage, so this should be fairly quick. And we have our welcome screen saying, welcome, 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 set up your new computer. And I'm just going to say I'd like to use English as my main language. I am in the United States, so that's great. I would like a US keyboard, thank you very much. And I'm going to go ahead and connect to our Wi-Fi network here at home. And now it's asking me if I would like to set up as a new Mac or transfer my information from another Mac via Time Machine Backup, etc. I'm just going to set up as a new Mac for now. I will enable location services. Now I'm actually going to um, cut to the end of this because a lot of this stuff is going to be my information that you probably, I probably don't want you to see. I'm just going to say it. And then it says, thank you. Thank you for setting up your new MacBook Pro with Retina Display. And now we're right here at the desktop with our lovely doc coming up, even telling me I have some updates available in the App Store. But let me do a quick demonstration here of the screen resolution. I mean, this computer is sharp. This is a very, very, very beautiful display that they have here on the Retina MacBook Pro. So I'm just going to do some close-up shots here of the Retina MacBook Pro, like uh, of the menu bar where it says Finder, and just kind of giving you guys some detailed screenshots, some really close screenshots that would maybe look blurry on any other laptop or any smartphone, etc., getting a close-up view of the LCD screen. But these uh, shots are actually pretty good. Now I'm going to bring up my MacBook Pro that is a few years old. This is one of the older unibody uh, models. But it does have a resolution of 1440 by 900. Now this is compared to the resolution of the Retina display. The examples are almost night and day. It's almost like you haven't even seen a display till you've seen the Retina screen. Uh, it looks so pixelated. You can see every little you know grind and grit of where the letters are. It doesn't look very clear. Again, going back and comparing that to the Retina screen of the uh, Retina MacBook Pro. I'm just kind of doing one last comparison. I do have Final Cut open here on my Mac desktop computer running these Dell UltraSharp displays that are about three, four years old already. And even the resolution looking up in this corner, um, still absolutely just unbelievable. And, uh, you know, just seeing, you know, where you can see every little pixel to the Retina screen where it's really, really tough to even make out a single pixel on the display. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I cannot imagine a better reason if you're looking for a great display this is absolutely the computer for you but anyways guys that's going to do it here for the set of video i'm sorry if it wasn't as informative as you would have liked but again you know this is a lot of information that is personal to myself and uh, so i hope you've enjoyed this somewhat set of video and a demonstration of the retina display on this macbook pro if you happen to like this video please feel free hit that like button right down below this video as well as that subscribe button if you happen to like my content i sure would appreciate it so you're always up to date on my latest and greatest videos I do a little bit of everything from setup videos such as this, unboxings, reviews, technology articles I happen to find interesting from Google, Microsoft, Apple, Samsung. A little bit of everything in the technology world is my opinion of the technology world, so I hope you guys enjoy. And also feel free to check out my YouTube channel where all my videos are archived as well. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it here for me today. I'm going to let you guys go, so please, if you'd like, I'd like to hear from you. Leave your comments below this video what you think about the setup and retina screen of this MacBook Pro on first and impressions that I've given you, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Have a great one till then, guys.